Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. Today we will be looking at a Crystal Trace CMR207G, which is a light and laser uh, compact size type light for your firearm. Uh, this is uh, one of the ones they have available right now. You can get them pretty inexpensively uh, through Amazon and through Crimson Trace. Uh, again, this is gonna be the Railmaster Pro uh, for most pistol, rifle, shotguns uh, with 1913 Picatinny or Weaver accessory rails. The cool thing about this is you can change it up depending what kind of rail you have. Now, this is gonna be a tap on and off feature it's got a five minute auto shut off, which is pretty cool. Never seen that on the light. Uh, screen laser plus 400 lumen LED white light. It's a polymer and aluminum construction. As you can see, uh, it's got the laser and light and laser only and light only feature uh, modes. Uh, the battery life is gonna be 50 minutes with the light laser on. Um, again, crimson trace and you can use this for your compact pistols. And the cool thing about this, what I was saying, it could be 1930 Picatinny or Waver, is like you see they have that extra hole right here where you can take this screw and move it up to uh, accommodate the type of rail that you may have. Uh, the laser is gonna be on the bottom right here, the light in the front, of course, and you got the push uh, side, you can't see, but you see on and off or pressing the hole momentary. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of strobe or anything like that, but it's kind of hard to say and show you what the laser is. Let's see if I can point it on this box here, if you can see it, I'm not sure, but there it is. See it on the bar, cold bar of the box here in the black section. You can see the green light right there. <laughs> that might be the best way I can show you uh, being that it's daylight here. But as far as the light and laser goes, uh, the light is real bright for self-defense. Uh, again, plenty enough light for what you need for your uh, home defense firearm, rifle, shotgun, whatever you want to put it on. Again, pretty cool with a Picatinny. You don't have to put no uh, little things that you get with other flashlights. You have to replace a little, uh, to accommodate the Glock or Picatinny or Weaver, whatever rail you have. All you got to do is take this screw out and move it to the next slot to accommodate the uh, rail that you have on your firearm. Now, point of, con point, point of impact with the laser, I haven't really tested it out yet. I did bore side it with the laser and the, and the laser here. This is gonna be a green laser. If I'm not mistaken, you can get it in red, but check Crimson Trace. Again, I'll notate everything on the bottom as far as the, uh, the light and everything where you can get it. But let's go over here, take some shots, see where it's at hitting, and we'll go from there, so stay tuned guys it's gonna be definitely difficult to see that laser from here of course i'm not really sure where is that but hey we're gonna try here so let's see all right i sit on the ground i'll try to put my uh okay i can see it <laughs> I can see it on the steel target right there, silhouette. So let's uh, let's aim it where it needs to go. And I'm not really sure what happened there, but let's find my laser again. There it is. Uh, all right, lost it there for a minute, but there we go. center there we go I'm out it is off a little bit so we are going to foresight again from this distance and uh shoot again so stay tuned hi right, guys we're back again we uh sat it in some more from this same distance we're shooting for we was off a little bit to the right and down so we're gonna put some more rounds through it here we go. And as far as the green dot goes, uh, the laser, I can see it from right here on the steel target where it's black. So, all right, let's take some shots here. There we go. There we go. 
So it's pretty close to the point of impact again. Uh, so yeah, again, got to adjust it to your bore side. It does come with the adjustments tool here with the laser and light, which is pretty neat. Uh, and adjustments are gonna be, if I can get on the light here, adjustments for the laser is gonna be right here and on the bottom right here for up and down left to right right here and again the laser is going to be right there and the light again i'll take some uh post a picture right here show some the light as far as it goes the light brightness and everything inside the home uh for the lumens it's just enough for what you need it for self-defense and everything in my opinion the light and the laser is a good combination uh again you have to side it in to your firearm and make sure it's hitting where you want it to so guys that's pretty much it light and laser light is one of the main things you want to have on your firearms in my opinion you should get one if you carry one especially have for self-defense or for home defense in my opinion so you gotta identify what are you uh looking at so light Number one thing, accessory you want to grab for any firearm, in my opinion. As far as the light goes for Crimson CMR207G, again, G stands for the green laser, works. Now, as far as the battery goes, it's a CR123, uh, which is on screws right here in the front, which is pretty nice. Um, you have to get, it doesn't come with a battery, so you have to get one. Uh, it's got the uh, seal right here for uh, water resistant and impact and everything which you will not be dropping this much anyways could be on your firearm but as far as water resistant it's going to hold up to any water as uh, you know as you need if you uh, need to drop it on a puddle of water or you out in the rain it's going to hold up uh, just what it needs to be everything is pretty nice and sealed the construction is going to be nice uh, as far as holster goes I haven't had any luck finding a holster that's compatible with this light, but I'm pretty sure they will come out soon with some, or you can have it sent to uh, somebody that makes coated holster. Uh, you just have to send the light and the firearm that you want to put it on, and they can probably customize you one for it. Uh, if you haven't seen the video on the Taurus G2C, there's plenty of videos out there. That's one of my uh, affordable firearms that you can get right now. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get, nowadays but this is under $300 where you can get it around 250 uh, as low as you I have found seen online right now uh, very affordable firearm and concealable anyways but crimson trace I say yes uh, check them out make sure to uh, check all the links down below I put a link to where you can get this on Amazon uh, as well uh, put an in the uh, comments down below where you can get it from crimson trace since youtube does not allow us to you know post any links to any firearm accessories as usual guys make sure to check out the links out below check follow me on all social media uh especially on instagram go to parlor where it's new uh everybody's going moving to from instagram uh make sure to follow me over there as well and hit the like button share like subscribe all that good stuff you know what to do but Thank you for Crystal Trace for sending the light. And as usual, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.